ours is the farm. I still don't trust these guys. Here it is. St. John, family day. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Yeah. I have a feeling that's not going to last. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Nice. Has he got a fishing hook stuck in his nose? You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. Then you killed him and had him. She cooked him. She put him in a pie. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. Let's keep them happy so they don't eat us. I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome Should to we the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. Where? They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? I'm not going to tell you anything. I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, um, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it Oh, shit, matter. we're being caught you're out. Here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Oh, holy moly. Yeah. Sorry. Shouldn't let you die. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's Maybelle. got and be with us for a good like long Bell. while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. Who's a vet? A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have I been answered. I don't knew we had a vet. Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Okay, Thank Elvis. You. Take this. All no, right. we need the gun. Later. No one cares if them two die. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm going to go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. It's not exactly a prison. Place. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And broken the swing. Perimeter? Sounds like a decent way you for real? Good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Fucking hell. What does it do? Just have a walk about. Let's chop him up with the axe. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. Alright, keep me posted. Is that all you've got to say? Let's check out this swing. Nothing's gonna hold my weight. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Oh, my soul Mind if I out. fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Well, you been here two minutes. Like we haven't we done just anything yet. a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. 
Maybe I've been a bit harsh on these guys so far. But, after reading The Walking Dead, you soon learn not to trust anyone. Oh, gas. Aha! There's some boards. Hmm. Oui. Make a weapon. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, hmm. this might make a good seat for the swing. Well, you already have an axe and there's a saw. Doesn't take a genius. Hmm. Isn't an axe Why entirely invented just boards? to chop wood? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Okay, Elvis. He didn't even cut all the way through it. Did he just put that in his pocket? Hang on, what the fuck? What's he hiding? I think the pocket goes all the way down to his arse. Where we're gonna find some rope. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. To stop people getting yep. out. Can't take any chances when it comes to safety. And keeping people stuck on your little rape farm. Alright, so there's nothing over there. Uh, oh, a gate. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Oh, the zombies in the barn. Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. Hang on, would it not be a bit too much of a coincidence if they were keeping zombies in the barn? You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Hmm. Where can we find some rope? Let's right, see if we can do out with the wood first. Da -dee -dee -dee. I'm not seeing any rope. The board is good, but I need some rope. Oh, that's what I'm looking for, you moron. I definitely don't already have any. Um, let's ask this. Oh, hang on. Let's see if we can go up to the house. I'll use it then. Dee dee dee. Let's peer through the window. Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. I'm still not persuaded. We'll see how good the dinner is. I bet there's rope in here. There we go. A shoe book filled with anything but shoes. What the fuck is a shoe bucket anyway? Might be an American thing maybe? I don't know. Oh, looks like the rope went in the magic pockets as well. Alright, this shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, you have to go on the swing now, man. to see that old swing all fixed up. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hopefully I don't think it's going to take like her too. weight. I mean, she's did a big you say woman. Something, darling? Oh my goodness! Did you do that? Don't Just sit on it. Trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night. That's why it's broke. Seems like such a long time ago now. 
Yeah, it was. It they're about 50 year old. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. I can't have a go on it. So what was the point of fixing it? Jesus. Um, I've got no reason to be up there. Let's talk to Elvis. Oh, the generator. What's that? Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? That beard was definitely drawn on with fucking pens. We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Hmm. I'm starting to think An it might be a good guy. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzling pop when they got too close. Nice. The closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Yeah. Like us? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Can we? Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Yeah, exactly. You never know when you're going to be cocked and raped and then eaten. It's a nice farm, though. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? We can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. Oh, look, I'll just kick a few corpses off it. Uh, everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things yeah, any better. Yeah, I hear the old anymore. fuck. Oh, nice. There's one. Ugh. Who shot it with an arrow? Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Well, they were dead to begin with. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Obviously. Who do you think he was? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Poor Either guy? Way, hope he was already dead. Oh, hang on, is this not a zombie? Is this a zombie or a person? Ah, uh, it's a zombie. Disgusting. What the fuck? I thought we'd just... Oh. Just start chopping bits off him there. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. 
That's all. Thanks. <laughs> There's another one. I see it. This one's probably going to get up and attack us. Get off, bitch. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Nothing wrong. Man, the fence burned oh, right into its just hands. Just chop its hand off. I think they fused together. Nice. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Smells Christ. like victory. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. Oh, shut up. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Oh shit. Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. Uh, I think this is dangerous. <laughs> if you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Oh, sarcastic now, are you? Help you Maybe zombies are gonna, t maybe bandits are gonna turn up. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh shit, son! What the? Hell? Get to the gate! Nah, fuck this. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. They fit with the farmers. With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out. Ah, fuck you, Jump in the fucking no. tractor. I already got one of you. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Fuck, are you not strong enough to push it? Did you really think you could fuck ah, us? Now I get you. Blades are stuck in the dirt. Try to lure me to the open. You fuck with us. Now we'll take what Come we want. If we can reach the gate, you we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the shit, boat. that hurts. Oh, snap. Oh, shit. It's pretty smart, this. Oh, it's gonna get caught on the zombie. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move it. How the fuck do you suggest we do that? It's starting to sound like they've ripped off some bandits for gas. And they haven't given them the food. So maybe I was right not to trust them after all. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Um, three. I think. Oh, I knew one of them had to be alive. Stomp! Stomp! Oh! Brutal. You okay? Yeah. It's not dead there. though. Didn't Come chop on. its head off. The gate's right there. Oh shit! Come on, he can't possibly go that fast. <laughs> Come, Izzy. Let's get out of here. Run. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. We would have thought they'd just chase us through the gate. What's wrong? I still don't see how the gate, the fence came on. The electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit! Are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. 
Oh, my lord. What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out, but god damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. He's tougher Mark. than I thought. Oh, my god. What happened? He got What's shot it look like? It looks like he got shot with an arrow. Okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh, no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. No, oh, big Brenda. Now. She'll take we'll care of you. Sort it out. Well. You must be the what kind of shit is this? Oh, here we go. We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. Is that Mark? Christ, that maybe Mark you were right about this place, Lee. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where get these the guns assholes then? are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not oh, fuck safe. Fuck off, fuck. I didn't this want to come here. This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out Hang here on, to they stay. Also had shotguns. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys to try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's <laughs> real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Doc? That was Doug actually quite funny. the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's got to watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kid, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Oh, wasn't that nice?